of one of my stories, hearing one of these. For I was on the road, heading to a meeting of other members of our society, when, behind my wagon, there was a light being swung round about so quickly by a member of the constables of the road, it seemed that it would flash. And the noise behind me was so great as he called and hello for me to stop and speak with him. I wondered whatever could the cause be. Were I going too quickly for safety upon the road? Had I run over some traveler without knowing it? <laughs> was perhaps one of the lamps at the rear of the wagon gone out that others approaching from the rear might not see me? No idea had I. And yet, when I pulled my wagon across to the side of the road and waited upon the verge for the constable to come speak to me, and hopefully take me not away, he approached and leaned over the side of the wagon and said, Young man, do you have any idea why I stopped you? Verily, no, not I. Not one whit. He looks rather confused at those words. I <laughs> <laughs> the words I used. For I was in these clothes. And he said to me, Where did you get that hat? <laughs> <laughs> My good friend Mygroom had given me that winter a tall, thick, a lush fur hat from the far eastern lands. The better to keep my head warm in those cold days. <coughs> and apparently, the constable, on seeing me, forgot whatever other concerns he may have had. <laughs> <laughs> because I did not expect to be asked, where did you get that hat? Why this? It is from my friend, good master, my girl in Wasulue Moldune. From what? <laughs> from my friend. <laughs> it seems that this constable, in his early days of soldiering, had himself lived in the Far Eastern lands, the Rus lands, and even brought home with him a wife. He was, therefore, a fan of all things Rus, and recognized the hat in passing at great speed, for he had been a stationary upon the side of the road when I passed on my way to our meeting. And to this day, I truly am not certain that he pulled me over to the side of the road for any reason other than to inquire about my hat. <laughs> I was late for the beginning of our meeting, for which our dear Seneschal did chide me publicly and in front of all. But when I told him of the 45 minute discussion I had with the constable <laughs> upon the road, he forgave me. Some authorities recognized that wise man were greater than. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>